Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric, and today I'm gonna to be giving a six minute summary of one of my favorite books, Good Calories, Bad Calories by Gary Tobbs. Did you know that all calories are not created equal? That's exactly what Gary Tobbs discusses in his book, Good Calories, Bad Calories. Now, you might think a calorie is a calorie, right? Well, according to Tobbs, it's not that simple. This book is a game changer, shattering long-held beliefs about nutrition and dieting. Tobbs takes us on a journey, challenging the status quo and redefining our understanding of calories. He argues that not all calories are alike, and that the quality of calories matters more than the quantity. He also dismantles several nutritional myths that have shaped our eating habits for decades. The book sets a new stage for how we perceive what we eat, shifting the focus from calorie counting to nutritional value. So. Prepare to have your mind blown and your food perspectives radically transformed. So, let's dive into the chapters of this enlightening book and debunk some food myths together. The first few chapters of Good Calories, Bad Calories revolve around the lipid hypothesis. This hypothesis, if you're not familiar, suggests a direct link between the consumption of dietary fats and heart disease. But hold your buttered toast, because Tobbs isn't just here to regurgitate old theories. Instead, he takes a fresh, critical look at this hypothesis. Tobbs delves into the nuances of the relationship between fat and heart disease. He challenges the widely held belief that all fats are enemies of the heart, arguing that not all fats are created equal. Some, he suggests, may even be beneficial to heart health. It's a bold claim that flies in the face of decades of dietary advice. But Tobbs doesn't stop there. He critiques the quality of the research that supports the lipid hypothesis, suggesting that it might not be as solid as we've been led to believe. Ultimately, Tobbs throws a wrench into conventional wisdom, making us question everything we thought we knew about dietary fats. Moving on, Tobbs introduces us to the carbohydrate hypothesis. This intriguing perspective, contrary to popular belief, places carbohydrates, not fats, at the heart of the health issues such as obesity and heart disease. Tobbs argues, with substantial backing from research, that it's the carbohydrates in our diet leading us down the path of health deterioration. He presents an array of evidence, from historical dietary patterns to modern-day scientific studies, all pointing to the same conclusion. It's the carbs, not the fats, that are the culprits. The hypothesis proposes that carbohydrates stimulate insulin production, which in turn promotes fat accumulation and leads to obesity. Moreover, it suggests that a carb-heavy diet can contribute to heart disease by raising levels of triglycerides in the blood. This chapter turns the table on the common perception of carbs and fats, giving us food for thought. Sorry, but I have to interrupt this video to ask for your help. These new videos aren't cheap to edit, so if you're liking the new style, then consider becoming a member by clicking on the join button down below this video. It's only $5 per month and will really help with the video editing budget. Plus, you'll get a ton of other perks like ad-free videos, early access to videos, and complete access to hundreds of member-only videos. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Tops doesn't just make claims, he backs them up with a wealth of evidence. His meticulous research delves deep into the realm of nutritional science, providing compelling insights that challenge conventional wisdom. In Good Calories, Bad Calories, Tobbs presents a comprehensive body of research that spans decades. He not only reviews the science, but also examines historical and cultural contexts, making his case all the more persuasive. His evidence is not just anecdotal, it's grounded in rigorous scientific studies. He puts forth case studies that reinforce his arguments. For instance, he explores the Inuit diet, which is primarily composed of fat and protein with minimal carbohydrates. Despite their high-fat diet, the Inuit people have historically had low rates of heart disease, contradicting the traditional lipid hypothesis. Tops also delves into the paradox of the French diet. Despite a diet rich in saturated fats, the French population has a significantly lower rate of heart disease than their American counterparts. This disparity poses a significant challenge to the conventional wisdom of nutrition and health. Furthermore, Tobbs draws upon a vast array of scientific studies to support his carbohydrate hypothesis. He presents research that links high carbohydrate intake with obesity and other health issues. This evidence underscores the potential dangers of a diet high in carbohydrates and low in fat and protein. Tobbs' meticulous research paints a compelling picture, challenging the status quo of nutritional science. 
His evidence invites us to rethink our understanding of nutrition and its impact on our health. So, what can we take away from good calories, bad calories? Delving into this book has been a fascinating journey unearthing some surprising truths about nutrition and health. The most significant revelation, perhaps, is the debunking of the age-old lipid hypothesis. The book suggests that the vilification of fat may be misguided, and that it's not the sole culprit in heart disease and obesity. Next, we dove into the carbohydrate hypothesis, which paints a rather different picture. It proposes that it's the carbohydrates, not fats, that are the real health villains causing weight gain and chronic diseases. As we sifted through the evidence, we discovered that the book is backed by extensive research. It is not a mere opinion piece, but a thorough investigation into the complex world of nutrition, challenging the status quo and urging us to question what we've been taught about food and health. Through this book, Gary Tobbs invites us to reevaluate our dietary choices. The book's revelations have the potential to transform our health, steering us away from processed carbohydrates and toward a more balanced, nutrient-dense diet. In Good Calories, Bad Calories, Tobbs forces us to rethink our understanding of nutrition, making us realize that perhaps it's time to change the way we eat. Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. Be sure to like, share, and leave a comment as it'll help the algorithm. And if you enjoyed the content, show your support by subscribing to the channel by clicking on the icon in the bottom right corner. And if you really want to show your support, then consider becoming a member by clicking on the icon in the bottom left corner. These new high quality videos aren't cheap to edit and the $5 membership will really help with the video editing budget. You'll also get access to a ton of exclusive perks like early access to videos and this program design lecture playlist in the top right hand corner. And if you want to learn how to do a one arm pull up, then check out the playlist on the top left corner.